What is the difference between a scheduled member and an injury to the body as a whole in workers' comp? Well, there is a big difference and we're gonna explain the differences today. My name is Kevin Runlett, CEO of Runlett Law Firm. We focus on helping injured workers in the state of Mississippi. Uh, so we're putting these videos out there trying to help people with questions that we know you probably have. Uh, the workers' comp system is different than the normal litigation system with a car wreck or another case like that. So. Um, hopefully these videos are, are helping you understand the process and what's going on. So what's the difference between a scheduled member injury and a body as a whole injury? First of all, scheduled member injuries are injuries to body parts that you don't really need to survive. Your fingers, your hand, your feet. Uh, you don't want to injure them and you don't want them to be uh, removed, but injuries happen and this is how they're classified. Now each body part or body area maybe upper extremity, arm, elbow, hand, fingers, each has a number of weeks of lost wages that you're able to get for that particular area of the body in a scheduled member case. So how do we prove that the client is entitled to get the maximum number of weeks or as many weeks as we can get? That's all based on what the doctor says the impairment rating is, and we've discussed that in other videos. So what the doctor says as far as what you can and can't do because of that particular injury is very important to a scheduled member case. Now on the flip side, there's a body as a whole injury classification. What this means is there's been an injury to a body part that yeah, you kind of need it to survive your lungs, your head, your spine, your hips, or if there's two injuries or injuries to multiple body parts, it can be considered a body as a whole injury. Now a body as a whole injury has a much bigger um, number of weeks that we can collect indemnity or, or lost wages for. It's 450 weeks for a body as a whole injury. So. There's one more difference between the two that you need to be aware of, uh, and that is how do we prove maximum benefits for a body as a whole injury? Well, the law says the only way we can do that is by showing that our client has done a very extensive job search, looking for jobs similar to what they're able to do and what they were doing before, and that they can't find work. People won't hire them. Uh, the job market's bad or they won't hire them because of the injury. If we can prove this, then we're able to maximize the number of weeks that our clients are able to get through the indemnity process in the workers' comp scenario. So I hope that helps a little bit in explaining the difference between those two types of injury classifications in the Mississippi workers' comp system. If you have questions, please leave us a comment below. Send us an email. Call us. Any way you want to get in touch with us, we're happy to hear your story and to respond. Uh, we hope these videos are helpful, and thank you for watching.